on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC North. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears, and it's all up. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Now second and nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. Just nowhere to go with the football. He was forced to put that one into Lake Michigan. I think his receivers have to do a better job of working free because he didn't have anywhere to go at all on that play. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Back to throw. McCarthy. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on to punt for Minnesota. On the return is Jones. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Bears take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards. And it's second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Now Williams throwing on first down. Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Williams now off the bootleg. And his pass incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. You've got to shake that off and get going. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Looking to throw. Williams. That is caught. 
And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 14 yards into Chicago first down. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think a guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. They go play action here on first down. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Second down and four. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now, way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also, just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Swift is into the end zone for a Bears touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Well, the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play. Yeah. That too. <laughs> and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy, slant route, and he's got Addison. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff. Running left is Jones. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Operating from the gun, McCarthy. And his throw's going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. 
Back to throw. McCarthy. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. If points result, we'll call this play significant. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They go back to the ground with Jones. There he goes, right side. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Vikings. Aaron Jones, 53 yards. And the Vikings are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. So all even at 7 now as they kick it away. Jones now on the return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 25, here's second and six. Looking to throw. Williams. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Bears. DeAndre Swift. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bears have taken the lead. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, partner. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Might be his first year in the NFL, but I don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big-time throw right out of the gate? The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. And it's a unit last drive. They did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. This is caught by Addison. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. We're following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, McCarthy. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Three. 
Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Up the middle, Jones. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. To throw on second down, McCarthy. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw. McCarthy. And this is going to be incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears' D. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out, and the Bears will get the football back. The Chicago offense set to get started. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Williams throw complete here to commit. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Off the play fake, Williams. He'll fire deep, looking for more. And he's got it inside the 10. A huge play there for Chicago. 42 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. They'll run here with Herbert. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Khalil Herbert, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Minnesota's offense takes over possession and this not an easy situation you're down early in the elements you're on the road how do you get the mojo back but well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender 
So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Now second and five. Off play action. McCarthy. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's, that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather plays to their advantage because you know where you're going on offense. Defenders have to react, and they often slip. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 76 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down in the yard. Looking to throw. McCarthy. A throw off his back foot there. That's going to wind up incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. He's got his target. That's complete. And they are stop it but he does take it all the way to the two so much for the run on third and one instead it's a big chunk in the pass game first down and this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen here's one right here they've had their share of struggles in key moments but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw and they're set up now with a first and goal first and goal and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game Jones is in. Touchdown, Minnesota. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Now the try here for the pulling after. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. 
touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now they need two. Here's third down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Williams throw there, complete to Allen. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Williams on first down. Touchdown! Cole Komet from 21 yards away. And the Bears are able to stretch out their lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Now the point after try for Santos. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. Going. You know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now, and they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You don't. Yeah. I'm not good enough to play Stop the fantasy it. game. I enjoy watching you're an you analyst. do it. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Now a second and ten. Back to throw again. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Running right, Jones. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And they will take over first and 10. The Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Williams. And pass complete to Moore. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Operating from the gun, Williams to the sideline and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. This is Swift on the counter. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. So we come up. Sorry, coach. We'll catch up with you after the game. We're going to skip through halftime here and headed back to the field for the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The lake effect snow set to continue for the second half of action as we are back underway. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. 
Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Operating from the gun, Williams. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 34. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach. And that's a strong step towards getting it done. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, Williams. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Given back-to-back -back catches now, that one for 16. And another first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the four, it's second and a couple. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, gonna be a good chance that any attempt is gonna be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. They'll look to throw again. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Previous play is under review. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Here's Swift, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A touchdown run there from a yard out, and the Bears have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, 
and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Santos with the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Second and seven from the 20. Back to throw. McCarthy over the middle and complete to Addison. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. McCarthy, complete, Jefferson the target. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now a play fake here on first down. The left side completion to Jones. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll make it second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll find Jones again, complete. So give him two yards there on the completion. Third and seven now. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four. You want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. Now Herbert to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down breaks. 
And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Williams work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Off play action. Williams steps away to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From the 22, here's second and eight. Back now at Soldier Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. 50 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Swift going to try up the middle. Seven yards there and a first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Here's Williams. Off play action. That is caught. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 29-yard line. A very well executed play. It goes for 29 yards. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Williams throw complete there to Moore. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 
This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. Kevin O'Connell clearly unhappy with that call, and he's thrown that red challenge flag out on the field. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Back to throw, Williams. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. From 13 yards out, and the Bears go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QBing is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. On first down, McCarthy throwing the out route incomplete. It's Powell, and down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and 10, McCarthy going underneath. He's got Hawkinson. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Looking to throw on second down, McCarthy. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And Jefferson's going to have the Vikings first down as he's across midfield to the 48. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Man, 
These guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. So from the 22, here's second and two. Looking to throw. McCarthy. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far. Nothing going right offensively. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a first down carry by Jones. Ooh, the juke. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up third and two. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. On third and two, McCarthy. He's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. There's DJ Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. 69 yards on the ground here for Swift. And he's got a first down as well. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. It was Harrison Smith there up from his safety spot to make the play behind the line. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.